Hello everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play, it's Spar- uh, no, it's, it's not, it's not Spar, it's Stuart Little 2 for the PS1, I'm Spar Jonathan, and yes, here we are with Stuart Little 2. I, I, I would normally restart, but I think that's just too funny, so I think I'll just uh, keep this start. But you've got volumes here, stuff, oh it already restarted the music, I don't know why it's not supposed to. Um, I'm using the duck station. Wait, vibration off. I wonder if it would even work with my PS5 controller. But yeah, let's change a few things. Uh, I mean, we can check this later, but. Oh, I, I don't even have save data yet. Yeah, but this is cool. Like, you start off in a car here and you drive around. So, yeah, but let's, let's start a new game and yeah, we'll get right to it. So, I've been looking forward to doing this from, for a while. Uh, it's made by Magenta. Again, so yeah, here's the first cutscene game uh, in the game. So, you have a game cutscene, yeah. Can't show like the movie clips um, in the game, but give yeah, us shows kind of what you kind of do in the game. Like, I don't think you even get to explore this room in the full game though, but uh, yeah. Um, although maybe you do wait, actually, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see. Um, it's been a while since I've played. I'm in deep, deep trouble. The evil Falcon's been forcing me to steal jewelry for him from the people of New York. I want to stop, but I need your help to escape this crime lord's talons. Will you help me find all the hidden jewelry so we can return it to its rightful owners? If you can help, please come meet me in the backyard so we can begin the search. Your friend forever, Margolo. Oh no, so he's like panicking about that, so yeah, he's got to go and help her and yeah, we've got to get all the jewels in the game, so yeah, this is uh, hopefully this is going to be fun to do. We um, better get you into shape, Stuart, if we're going to take on Falcon and return all the jewelry to its rightful owners. Thankfully, your brother George has built this training course for you to train on. Uh, but she didn't say the rest. What? But if you think you're up for uh, the challenge already, then you can start the event early by pressing, uh, by selecting quit training in the pause menu. Is that one? Okay. Uh, wait, is she meant to say the rest? Or did, is there something wrong with my, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, start, I'm, I'm kind of uh, worrying now a bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is, this is the start. So, again, I forgot my analog stick. Um, works as the camera for a second, so... Okay, Stuart, the first thing we need to practice is your jumping skill. To jump, press the jump button and try to get over the step in front of you. Yeah, keep pressing down, keeps doing the clicking sound, but it is exactly the same as, um... Okay, Stuart, the first oh yeah, doesn't say anymore, just skill. want to check. To jump, um, the jump button it's the same, get over the step it's the same as, uh, Stuart, yeah. I knew you could do it. If you press the jump button during the first jump, you will jump again while in mid-air. Try this to jump over the next step in front of you. Yeah, it's the same dialogue box as, um, you know, Muppet Mom's Adventure, right? That was the last image in the game I did. Oh, okay, she just said something. I thought she would say something different, because, um, she, you know... Oh, no, now she says it again. What? Okay. What? There, there we go. Why don't you practice jumping to and from the plant pots near us to make sure you've got the hang of it? When you feel you are ready, come over to me near the wall so we can continue your training. Yeah, so you get to start off in this little garden here, but yeah, I can just... She doesn't say anything more for jumping on these ones, these plant pots, upside down. But you get to go over here, but, you know, it's no real point. Like, this is just the weed and the grass, and it's not... Like, it doesn't have cushion, um, but yeah, now we have this bit, so I guess, I guess we've established that they don't say anything more if you go back to them, so... Here's a skill you might find useful, Stuart. You'll be able to climb over this wall behind me if you use your double jump skill. You'll be able to grab the top of the wall and then climb up by pressing up. Give it a try and I'll meet you over the other side. Alright, so yeah, this is the first part, and this is the first of all, it's just a training level, um, tutorial, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's called training or tutorial, like the actual level name, I, I don't know if we can check that. Like on the pause, oh yeah, it's quit training, but 
This is um, already saw that. Actually, I don't know if those options were on the first thing. Um, but you can grab up. So, wait, you couldn't do that in, with Robin and Muppet Man's Finch, could you? But yeah, basically, Stuart Control is nearly exactly the same as Robin did in Muppet Monster Adventure. So, yeah, this is fun. We're getting to do this. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to her again here and do this. You have to defend yourself against Falcon's minions, Stuart. So you're going to have to learn how to protect yourself. Small objects like this can be picked up and thrown by pressing the throw button. So pick some up and try knocking out some of the targets next to us. If you run out of ammo, come back and pick up some more. Oh, right then. Uh, so wait, what are these even meant to be? Are these like apples? Why, why are they flashing? Um, I don't think they're meant to flash, are they? Oh, okay, it was flashing on 5 and 10, but then it doesn't flash on 15. So it's like, I know you're running out, but that, that, that's... That's not right, because like you, you have plenty, right? But you can keep getting more. How many can you get? There's some here, and there's some there. Wait, oh, the number disappeared once I got. Oh, no, no, sure, ain't again. 35. Wait, how many can you actually collect? Like 40. Wait, I, I actually haven't tried this before, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying it. Um, yeah, that's all the same. I think that uh, frame skip. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I can frame skip very well on this because it's dolphin and I have the sink. No, it's not dolphin, it's duck station. Sorry, this is the first time I'm recording with just duck station, but I'm not recording with OBS. Um, or the Celeroid because, oh yeah, look, 65. Can you get like 99? Um, do it. Check it out, but yeah, as I'm doing this, I'll, I'll talk about things. So, um,. You just keep going back and forth, so yeah, we've got tons, like, for this whole uh, training level now. Yeah, 99, oh, okay. That's kind of what I figured, and I mean, you can't even get any more, it just beeps you out or <laughs> something. But yeah, wait, so they want us to shoot these with uh, square, we're actually shooting with square. I was trying to shoot with circle, but, um, yeah, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I wanted to do that part. Yeah, I couldn't. Stuart. If you stand on top of the tree trunk, I'll show you how to throw more accurately. Right, yeah, well, we have more here, but I'm gonna get interrupted by her, so I can't talk up right now, but Press yeah. Hold camera left and camera right together, you will see through Stuart's eyes. You can use this view to look around and aim more accurately with your throw attack. Try to shoot the flowers underneath the large tree to practice this new skill. Uh, right. So, uh, uh yeah. I'll just prove that. Whoops, missed. Yeah. It's just like camera in, uh, the other game, but uh, actually, I wonder if there is. If no. Camera yeah, yeah. Camera right together, it's just the same. Uh, yeah, just keep throwing them. Oh, no. Ooh, there I go. You should have no problems dealing with Falcon's minions with shooting like that. Come and meet me near the fence so I can teach you your second attack. Wait, the one let's go here first or here? Oh, no, here. Didn't say wh which point, but if yeah, I forgot. If you press your tail whip button, you will spin around and whip nearby objects with your tail. You can use this to open suitcases, protect yourself against enemies, and activate switches. Try your new skill on the objects beside us. Alright, okay, well... Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of... Pro I'm still... Uh, still have a bit of a cold. You might be able to still tell. Nice um, move, Stuart. Now come over here near the gate and I'll show you another use for your tail whip. Yeah, and I guess once she gets here, right, she doesn't go back here, right? Or does she? No, I... Yeah, I kind of uh, figured, but wait, I wonder if you can, yeah, you can actually go into the, um, the dandelion box here, so, um. The gate is locked, Stuart, but don't worry, it can be opened by activating the switch. Use your tail whip move to activate the switch. I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, it sounded like she just said, I'll meet you on the other side, but it said, I will meet you on the other side, so, a little bit of a different start. Um, yeah, Don't nothing. 
Do it. Have the cutscene and get yeah, us cutscenes like this. Just so I can more poems have interest as well. And so, yes, you know, like if you might remember, I did the, I did that game in 2021 on my channel. And yeah, no, it's the start of 2023. And yeah, I thought this was the perfect time to start this game. Um, and you know, yeah, I played this game as a kid. I played it first on. McDonald's demo disc, um, demo disc 4, demo 4 of McDonald's, and it also had Jinx on it, and yeah, like, I've talked about it before on the channel, and even in that video, but you can tell the music is like Jinx in this game, um, and, uh, yeah, sound effects, it feels like they just got a lot of stock sound effects, and, um, you just use them in this game as well as Jinx, and, like, sound, um, Hitting sound effects and punching sound effects when you get enemies and stuff. So, but we'll talk more about that later, probably. In this part of the garden, we're going to improve your climbing skills. First off, I want you to go over to the bamboo sticks over there. If you jump at one of them, you will grab it and be able to climb up and down. So get climbing, Stuart. Oh, you just uh, like this one, I mean, for now. Great, Stuart. Now you can climb poles. Try to jump from one pole to the other. Keep trying till you can get it. Yeah, it's interesting to say that because actually this this was hard as kept doing this part. I could actually not get past it because you, you actually have to jump to the other side and get onto it. And if you don't, then yeah. But sometimes, like, yeah, the way jumps like this you can get awkward. Or you can get maybe, yeah, double jump. <laughs> also counts. Oh, no, okay. And you can get on either one, but it doesn't. Matter at all, yes, yeah, like he goes wrong with his <clears throat> like momentum. Oh, there we go. That's the way to do it, Stuart. Now come over to this spade and try jumping onto it and climbing to the top. He really did have to keep trying it, so um, but wait, oh, she said that, but anything else here? Hi, Stuart. Uh, no, yeah, but we already did that part. Wait, are we, are we gonna be are they gonna make us do all again? Wait, sure, we not, bro. Right? Um, yeah. I just fast forward it on uh, that. Yes, okay, you can do this now. So great, you can crawl around it, and it's weird how it does this, but it's fun. So wow, Stuart, good things sure do come in small packages. You can climb all sorts of things, like the ivy on the wall over there. Have a go and see if you can reach the top. Yeah, we're just come at snow and yeah, Fantastic, some post on. Be on the lookout for that handprint, as whatever it covers, you can climb up. Now come over to the tunnel entrance, and I'll teach you how to crawl. Guess so, yeah, it's right, we can spin just like we did in Muppet Mom's Venture, although it's it's not as much of a spin. <laughs> um, like a Crash Bandicoot spin, like you just, it's not spinning that much, but still enough to, like, attack things, so... Yeah, you know, in Muppet Man's Venture, um, he spun just like Crash Bandicoot, really. So, I feel like they got him inspired by um, uh, Crash as well as Baron. On all fours under this obstacle, Stuart. Just walk up to the entrance and you will enter crawl mode. Then crawl to the other side of the tunnel where I will greet you. You can protect yourself in crawl mode by using the throw button. Ah, uh, throw button. I guess this game was on uh, <coughs> multiple platforms. Like consoles because wait, but I don't, I don't think it really was though. Was this game on PC? Actually, I'm not entirely sure now, but yeah, it's cool. We got it looks like a Sparrow Skybox button, it's just a cool little area. Oh, but yeah, you crawl through like this. This was always fun, it always goes in first person. But oh, I'm trying to move and he's going backwards. What well, I'm pressing left, uh, yeah, well that done, way. So I don't know why I did that. You made it through the tunnel. Hope you didn't get too dirty. Don't worry, as you can wash it off in the pond over there. Just go over and jump in. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is interesting. Like, we're getting dialogue as we're doing stuff, so... While you're in the water, use the speed boost button to swim faster, the tail whip button to dive under, and then the jump button to swim around underneath. When you've had enough, swim to the surface and use the jump button to jump out and meet me near the bench. Um, that's weird, because I am, like, wait, what was circle again? Because I'm pressing circle and he's not 
He's not doing anything with Circle. What? Like, R1 is like. going fast like that. That feels like. That's going faster than. Uh, X1 pressed R1. Um, oh yeah, that's the hood. L1. That, I think it was like that in the. Uh, Open Monster Venture as well. So yeah, we took a lot of things from that game and just reused a lot of stuff. Um, I guess it's of that game and, uh, oh, yeah, just walk around here, but yeah, nothing's really doing much, so, but yeah, that's, that's how the water works in the game and swimming and Here's so. Here's a handy skill, Stuart. You can monkey bar under mark surfaces like the one next to us. Just press the jump button when standing underneath and you will automatically grab a hold. You can press the jump button to jump off at any time. So get on up and monkey bar down to the other end of the bench. I don't know why. I don't know why the <laughs> the, the um the dialogue is going so so here. Um, yeah, you can create it from that. But get on here and get yeah, so monkey barring. Um, get to your side and down. Well done, Stuart. You've completed your training. So come on over to the back door and we'll begin the adventure and defeat that evil buzzard. Yeah, so that's, we've got to defeat them, like the falcon or the buzzard, and we have not seen the movie in ages, um, either, so I've kind of forgotten if, like, most of the, like, if the levels in the game are, um, like, like, in the movie, um, does it, like, go along with it that much, or is it kind of, uh, yeah, is it like canon to it? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, one time I did get on this bench on on the top of it, but no, I can't. So, but yeah, so this is the entrance south here, and yeah, it does feel like Toy Story 2 in a way as well. But I feel like that's that's better. But yeah, we got here, and yeah, I guess yeah, don't talk to her anymore, and yeah, I guess that's it. So. Yeah, now we're at the, uh, oh no, you just get put straight in the second level. Okay, well, that's it. So that's it for this part, doing the training. Yes, yeah, so I hope this is going to be a fun let's play to do. Hope you enjoyed this first part of Stuart Level 2, and we'll continue on the next part and do the second level in the game. Uh, this is downstairs in the house, so yeah, it's been fun doing this first part. I'm looking forward to doing this so um this game is not that long this is a short game but it's not as short as we are in stitch like the let's play the last ps1 let's play i did on my channel so yeah but thanks for watching this first part and i'll see you next part as we do downstairs so see you all next part for more of this game so see you all next time goodbye for now